Hi everyone and welcome to a series of videos for people interested in getting hands-on with Data Cloud. My name's Dave Norris and I'm a developer advocate at Salesforce. And in this video, we're going to help a fictitious hotel called Coral Cloud Resort get hands-on with the data stored in Data Cloud. We're going to help them replicate key information into Service Cloud, as well as get access to reservation data in real time. So let's get started. In previous videos, we've ingested data from Amazon S3 and combined it with data in Service Cloud. We also created two key insights, namely the total number of reservations each guest has made and their lifetime value. Back in episode one, we looked at Coral Cloud systems landscape. Here you can see with Data Cloud, what we're now able to do is replicate lifetime value into Service Cloud. And we can even access reservation data in real time. And that's what we're going to do in this video. Let's briefly take a look at the current contact page in their Service Cloud Salesforce instance. The contact page currently has basic information driven based on the standard and custom objects available. If we look at the related tab, we don't currently see reservation information. And since this is a key requirement, let's get that information from Data Cloud. The first thing we're going to do is set up the permissions needed. From the setup menu, we can search for permission sets. We'll then drill down on the Data Cloud admin permission set and open up Data Cloud Data Space Management. We want to make sure that our Data Cloud Administrator has access to the default data space name. We'll click Save and we're done. Next, let's set up the configuration steps needed to bring in the reservation data in real time as a related list using Data Cloud related list enrichments. Back on the contact page at Coral Cloud Resort, we'll navigate to Object Manager for the contact object. We'll then select Data Cloud Related List on the menu and click New. Here we can see the data model objects with a relationship to the individual. We'll select Reservation, click Next. We'll select the Enable Controlled by Parent Permissions. This is going to ensure that a Service Cloud user needs permission to the contact record to view their reservations. We'll then change the child relationship name to Reservations, the related list label to Reservations, and we'll add it to the contact layout. Now, when we refresh the contact page, we can see a reservations related list right at the bottom. At this stage, the list is empty because by default, data model objects using the category engagement, like reservations in our case, only display data from the last seven days. To change this behavior, we can use dynamic related lists. Let's edit the page. We'll add a dynamic related list single component to the top of the related subtab. We'll change the related list from assets to reservations. We'll add a few fields. We'll add check in date, check out date, room type. and room number. We'll sort by the check-in date in a descending sort order. We'll now add a related list filter. In our case, we'll just say any reservation where the creation date is not equal to blank. This is just to ensure that all reservations are going to be returned. Then we'll hit save and return 
to the contact page. Now when we navigate to the related subtab, we can see the reservations list at the top with the reservations that Sophia has made. Reservation information is now available to Service Cloud users from Data Cloud in real time. But what about the ability to copy certain key field values from Data Cloud into Service Cloud directly? That's where we can use Data Cloud copy field enrichments. As a brief recap, in the last video, we created a calculated insight with two measures for each hotel guest. One was for the total number of reservations and one was for their lifetime value. We're gonna take these fields from the calculated insight and copy them into the two fields we saw on the detail page for every contact. The first step is to give Data Cloud the necessary permissions to copy values into those fields. From the setup menu, we'll navigate to permission sets. Then we'll drill down on the customer 360 data platform integration permission set. And we'll review the object settings. Since we want to replicate information into the contact object, we'll open up contacts, click the edit button, and we'll grant access to modify all on the contact object and make sure that we can edit lifetime reservations and lifetime value, the two fields that we're going to replicate information into from Data Cloud. We'll click Save. And now we're ready to move on to the copy field enrichment setup. Back on the contact page for Sofia Rodriguez, we'll edit the contact object. And select Data Cloud Copy Field from the menu. We'll click New. Scroll down until we'll see our calculated insights object, Spend Profile by Guest. We'll select it making sure the matching method is using the unified individual. We'll click Next. Then we'll specify that we want to use lifetime reservations and lifetime value from our calculated insights object. We'll give it a name. We'll just remove the default data space. And then we specify where do we want to copy the lifetime reservations into, we'll specify the lifetime reservations field on the contact object. We'll repeat for the lifetime value and click save and start sync. This initiates a request to send information from Data Cloud to Service Cloud using the bulk API. An asynchronous job will get kicked off that will copy those two key field values from Data Cloud into the contact record in Service Cloud. Now this can take a few minutes, so I'm gonna come back when the job is complete. To view the status of your synchronization job, you can hit the Sync History subtab. Here you can see the synchronization job is complete. And for my particular data set, it took about a minute and a half to run. If we now navigate back to the contact record and we refresh the page, you can now see that the details for lifetime value and lifetime reservations has now been successfully copied across from Data Cloud. And that includes in the Lightning Web Component in the top left-hand corner. In this video, we put the information that was in Data Cloud right into the hands of the frontline users. We displayed reservation data in real time, right in the contact page. And then we replicated key values from Data Cloud right into the Salesforce contact record. If you wanna get hands-on with Data Cloud, check out the link I've provided below. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to the Salesforce Developer YouTube channel for more content like this one. Thanks for watching.